The final weekend of Art Prize 9 starts next week. The final weekend where you can cast your vote on all the Art Prize entries. And this weekend, there's one entry that's kind of hard to ignore. Yeah, that's because the work happens live every day, and the canvas is human. How are you doing? Laura Henderson starts this day oh, talking to a crowd of people at Art Prize. Ooh. Welcome. All of the model stories are right here. She's also nearly naked. This is a time-based piece called Naked at Art Prize. While there is a shock value, this entry is about what's on the inside. There are all different issues that maybe people feel uncomfortable talking about, but need to be addressed. Kristen Adams chose to enter into this competition to draw attention to difficult yeah, issues, no, like anorexia, child sexual abuse, and bipolar disorder, which is the focus of the piece she's working on here. Basically, for me, it's kind of like manic depressive. Laura has suffered from the disorder for really years. She knows all too well what it can do to your personal relationships. Episodes where you might be screaming and crying or um, like treating the ones you love the most the worst so but um having a really good support system is what always brings me back so I, this is part of it right so <laughs> drawing attention to her outside to share what's inside has been therapeutic for laura and also for the people who have stopped to see the work people are coming through here and they're telling their stories to us and sharing their situations and what they've gone through nearly eight hours of standing and painting later laura wears a phoenix with an arrow through its heart basically if i have an episode or i have a bad day or i um just make a wrong choice then i can only start again every day a second chance to enjoy what's inside and out and I have Kristen Adams here with me. Hi. You have long days. I so do. I appreciate you getting up early and coming in. This is so personal. And I think when people come by, they go, whoa, what's going on over here? What is the, the big reaction that you've seen? Well, I've seen um, reactions from all ends of the spectrum. I've seen people who just want to quickly walk through <laughs> and ignore the artwork, um, not knowing what it was, it's really about. And then I have people who stop and want to watch for a while and interact and ask questions. And these models are there sharing all day long. They're talking to the people who are there. I know you also put out a, a crisis hotline number as part of this. You want anyone who needs help to get it. You told me something interesting about that. What was it that your friend said who you've been working with on this? Um, well, I actually had a lady from the crisis, crisis helpline come in that works for them, and they said that their n number of texts actually significantly increased. Like from from a 900 to 7,400. Like seven, seven, so. seven times. Is, yeah. That's a big yeah. increase. So yeah. I am working with a therapist on this project. Her name is Ashley um, Carter Youngblood. She's out of Kalamazoo, so she's see, seeing what she can do to contact them to get all the information about that. What does so. this mean for you? Uh, I've had my own struggles as well. So uh, this whole project has actually helped uh, me face a lot of things that I've deal dealt with and my models as well. It has been an extremely rewarding. Uh, I've gotten to know these people inside and out, I guess you could say. <laughs> yeah. So I've gotten to know all of them really well personally and they're all beautiful people. They all have struggles that we don't like to talk about or share or try to hide. So, so you're drawing attention to it through this. Yeah. You certainly are doing that, drawing yes, attention to yes, it. Yes, yes, and well, it's a lot of hours. <laughs> uh, we won't keep you. Maybe you can get a little rest before you start another right. eight-hour session for the day. Thanks for coming in, Thank Kristen. you so much. Casey.